Musician, artist, and sculptor Gary Roller has created a unique 11-inch sculpture of Yogananda in a standing posture blessing the world. He refined this work over a period of two years knowing that it would serve as a model for a much larger work. We then had copies of it cast in resin which we now offer for sale. Gary had refined his earlier very popular portrait sculpture of Yogananda over a period of ten years. During that time Swami Kriyananda gave him personal guidance on some of the details. We took both pieces to the Form 3D foundry in Portland. Here we see Gary and the owner Rob Arps. Form 3D laser scanned both pieces and in the computer they merged the face from the portrait onto the standing maquette. And this is the result. Then they used that data to create a scaled up version using this computer controlled milling machine that carves large blue styrofoam blocks. Now they break up the project into small blocks then carve each part precisely to the shape needed. Then they will glue the pieces together to create the foam model scaled up in our case to a height of 8 feet. When we entered the foundry and saw the completed statue for the first time, we were astounded, amazed, and inspired to see Yogananda standing there, albeit in pieces. This is Troy, who was our main contact person on the project. Here, Gary is holding up an arm in place to get some idea of how it'll work. Steve Christman gave us a lot of instruction on how to assemble the statue and prepare the foam for the application of the clay that'll cover it and, uh, and how to work that clay itself. We carried the pieces out with Steve's help and loaded it into the truck. Back at Laurelwood, Gary got a great welcome you can see his daughter, Sierra, visited and, and added her thoughts. So here it is, assembled. Gary is comparing it with the model. Notice the seams between the blocks of foam where it was glued together. The hands needed particular attention. After the face and eyes, the hands are the most attention-getting parts. The next step is to paint on a layer of clay over the foam. This oil-based clay is melted in a crock pot so you can apply it with a brush. Here he is applying that clay. The statue, once the statue is covered in clay, the real detail work begins. Of course, we all wanted our picture taken with the statue. On Saturday night, we had an impromptu kirtan around the statue. It was very inspiring. It has power. You can feel it. Gary will continue to make refinements until it's ready to go to the bronze foundry. Meanwhile, you can visit it in the expansion building in room 203. You can keep up to date on this project at Yogananda Gardens on Facebook on our website, yoganandagardens.org, and by all means, subscribe to our newsletter.